What do you say, baseball fans? Rye Brad talking baseball episode 43. We're going AL East West. As you know, the standings are tight. Ump's becoming part of the show again, man. It's not a good sign, but let's lean into it because it's going to happen. And then we've got a bet and some superlatives. Last night, Rays erupt for 10 runs against Baltimore. A lot of people are hitting Baltimore, but my goodness, the Rays needed that explosion. They got their hands full with the Jays. Glasnow on the hill tonight. Jays been playing tough. Lost a heartbreaker last night in the game of the night to Boston. Jumbo dong. J.D. Martinez coming up clutch when they need him. I thought that game was going to be all Red Sox, but we ended up betting Oakland because we love them. But Houston just beat them. Houston is, I think, the toughest team to beat right now. If there was one place where you needed one win, you would have to say playing Houston at Houston is probably the toughest place to get a W right now. They're so tough. And their pitching is underrated, if you can believe that. I watch their starting pitching is good. Their relief pitching is not great. That's why we took them. That's why we took the A's. We thought the relief pitching was going to get exposed. But as we've mentioned many times on this show, it's the easiest thing to fix. Rays have demonstrated that. You can put together a workable bullpen if you just add a couple of key pieces here or there. And you can get those guys. And everybody's bringing 98. It's it's amazing the guys you can just bring up. Oh, this guy's got 98 easy gas. So that's one place where you can fix it. And you can bring up your young, talented guys who you project as starters later for a late run. This kind of thing happens. I'm sure the Rays are going to factor that in. I like the race tonight with Glasnow on the hill, obviously. And rock and roll a Rosa Reina doing Randy things. It's so great to see Randy being Randy, as Glasnow said. But the surprise, Ray, Rich Hill, the elder statesman, if you will. 21.2 innings in May. It's the 21st. He's averaging an inning a day. Guy's a horse. But that's a .42 ERA, his first earned run of the month last night on a solo shot. That's eight hits this month. He just finding a way to do it, and anything you get out of Rich Hill at this point is gravy, and look at him go! Part of the reason why the Rays are so hot, baby! We love it. Houston's going to head over to Texas. They should take care of those games. They're playing well. They're hitting the cover off the darn thing. And then the A slow start against the Astros is going to hurt them. Their series is for the whole year right now is at three and seven because the Houston caught them when they were struggling early, and now it's kind of shifted over there in Houston's favor. And Houston took over first place in the American League West as a result. They're playing great. LA's in a lot of trouble still. They managed a split last night. They're going to face the A's starting tonight seven of their next nine games. And Otani's only scheduled start within that nine game period is at is a game hosting, excuse me, hosting the Rangers. A game they could win feasibly without him. A game that they should win without him if they want to stay afloat here. They gotta get those games and muster some kind of split with Oakland. But I don't see that happening. I think Oakland dominates these next seven against the Angels. They want to get back in first place. And as if it could get any worse for the Angels, Albert Pujols hits a big home run and (laughs) helps the Dodgers get a big W that they should have against Arizona. Uh, Wow. Like we said, this thing's spinning out of control for the Angels. I know it's doom and gloom, but that's just how I see it happening. This A's, Rays, Yankees, Cleveland, Toronto, Boston, Houston thing for the American League, that just seems how it's going. I didn't count out Seattle quite yet, but man, they're falling, and these other teams are playing great, and there's no reason to see them slowing down. That's another part about it. Once you get this kind of momentum and you see how these teams can play, I mean, an injury can do it, but man, they're coming together, getting stronger, these good teams. And if the White Sox run away with the central like it appears and then you have cleveland standing there i don't know how their bats are going to keep up if they keep getting no hit they've already been hit no hit twice but that pitching keeps them in all their games so 
We're not counting out Cleveland here either. We're going to keep an eye on them. Before we switch over to the rest of the league, we've got Yankees minus 110 tonight. It's <clears throat> Jordan Montgomery against Carlos Rodon. White Sox are a good team, but I don't know what that clubhouse is going to be like with La Russa being La Russa, and the Yankees are 50 points better in OPS against lefties. They slug better against lefties in their home park. There's an over. Yankees over 3.5 runs. It's expensive at minus 137. So we just took the Yankees straight up. I think the Yankees win this game tonight. They're back. Montgomery's been better than expected. Rodon, obviously, fantastic pitcher. Has the no-no this year. But the Yankees against left-handed pitching are just tough and dangerous. Can crooked number you in that stadium at any moment. So we're obviously looking at that game. NOLA's going tonight. You've got Boston at NOLA. I saved it for the pitching primer because, wow, we don't miss NOLA starts. Another underrated pitcher. That's why we picked Philly in the East because we think their pitching is so strong. Perez for Boston has been serviceable for him. Boston, when they win, they can slug it out, man. And they've gotten some decent pitching along the way, too. It kind of got a little bumpy for him there, starting with that series in Detroit. But, man, Boston's still tough. Great setup tonight. I I don't know who's going to win that game. Because, like I said, that NL East, despite how much I bet it, I don't really know what the heck is going on with those NL East teams. I'm looking forward to checking that one out. And then, nightcap, Bauer at Wood. The Dodgers and the Giants, the first-place Giants, hold a two-game lead over the Los Angeles Dodgers as we sit right now. These are going to be electric games out there. I'm ready. It's a big rivalry, man. Don't forget, everybody's talking Padres and Dodgers. Giants and Dodgers was around a long time before that thing got heated. This is going to be some serious West Coast baseball going out. Bauer and Wood, don't know, don't touch it. I, I, I don't have a feeling on that. The check-in pitchers, stay with me on this. These, these pitchers, I'm curious to see where they go. You've got Paddock hosting Seattle. Seattle needs a win, scuffling hard. And Paddock is just seemingly one or two starts away from putting it together. You've got the O's headed to Washington. Strasburg hasn't had a start in five weeks. I want to see how he does. Don't expect to see him very long in the game. I hope he's healthy. And then Tristan McKenzie, twins, last place twins in the American League, battling Colorado by like a half game for worst in the majors. That's a surprise against Tristan McKenzie of Cleveland. Just another one of these pitchers that uh, he gets bitten by a big inning here or there, but he's fun to watch. So those are some check-in pitchers. We already hit that pool host superlative. Man, it's a tough look for the Angels. And then Sano with the salami. That guy hits a lot of big home runs for the Twins, but the Twins just aren't winning any games. What are you going to do? A lot of... uh, Great baseball on tonight. We're going to be jam-packed. No day games. Get at me on Twitter at RyeBread0844. Bascom's Chop House, Clearwater, Florida. Best steak in the city. Best wine list in the city. Tell them I sent you. And that dream vacation is just a click away at Bravo Beach Resort. Shargo Island, Philippines. I'm not kidding. It's awesome. Uh, We love you. We'll see you again tomorrow. We're going to do 162.